Petrov's defense, classical, Nemzowitsk attack. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. Black got the better of white in that game. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well. Black really came to play in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. Petrov's defense immediately attacks white's unprotected e4 pawn, while ignoring black's unprotected e5 pawn. It is excellent. Nx e5 places the knight in the center, where it has influence over many crucial squares, and takes the undefended e5 pawn. It is ideal. d6 attacks the knight on e5 and allows the light squared bishop to develop. It is best. Nf3 returns the attacked knight back to the f3 square, where it supports the d4 square and fights for the e5 square. It is best. Nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board, where it controls many important squares. It is best. Nc3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the knight on e4 and controls the d5 square. It is good. As a result, the opponent's pawn structure is weakened because they are forced to double their pawns. Recaptures. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. Castling develops a rook, while also getting the king to safety. By castling to the opposite side of the board as the opponent, the game will tend to be more double-edged. It is the last book move. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is ideal. A knight is pinned as a result, which limits its movement. It is ideal. This misses a chance to trample a bishop. It is incorrect. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. Backs off. It is ideal. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is ideal. Making the adversary double their pawns makes it easier to establish flaws. That is good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This misses a chance to imply that you might win a queen. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to defend against an assault on a helpless pawn. It is incorrect. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This puts the opposing rook in a position to lose control of the open file. It is quite good. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. There was only one good move there. This allows the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a mistake. It's alright. That's good. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. White is equal at this point in the end game. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This misses a chance to defend against an assault on a helpless pawn. 
it is incorrect. Thus, a pawn is lost. It is incorrect. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. A wise decision. It is quite good. This pushes a passed pawn. This is the only move that works. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a great move. This poses a fork piece threat. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. This took advantage of a mistake and black now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This is the only good move. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a great move. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is best. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be opposed as it attempts to promote by other pieces. It is ideal. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is ideal. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. Black got the better of white in that game. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well. Black really came to play in the end game. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. Black got the better of white in that game. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well. Black really came to play in the end game.